Welcome to the Q104 exclusive as the Prize Patrol presents Prize Patrol Olympic Games 2008. Our U.S. athletes made us very, very happy over in Beijing. Even this gentleman on the Y, I have no idea who he is, very happy. Here's Panda Paul. Say hi, Panda Paul. I hope that you're ready for the first annual Prize Patrol Olympic Games only to be held in one city. Beautiful downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Here's our opening ceremonies. These are just a few of the contestants. I'll introduce you to them in just a few minutes. On the right-hand side, we have Rick Astley. On the left-hand side, looks different through these cameras. Michael Phelps, very clumsy outside of water, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That is not beautiful. Are you now ready for our first event? Whatever wheel spinning. We've got the Navi Dot on the left-hand side. We also have Soul Man on the right-hand side. She's trying to help him out. Soul Man trying to figure out which direction do I spin this wheel? Do I go clockwise? Do I go counterclockwise? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, he decided to go clockwise. Beautiful extension in the legs. The socks pulled up just so, and he hits it. Ladies and gentlemen, he hits it. High fives around from the Navidad. Young Chris is next, aided by Soul Man. What does she do? Does she also go clockwise? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a smart move. She just saw the success from Soul Man. And she also does a beautiful job. Almost hits her head on the ceiling. Nice job. Our next event, Q-Van Maneuverability. The first up for this event, M to the Ike. Let's look at his strategy, shall we? He has a few words for you. Just chewing the gum. Exactly. He's good to go. He's done this numerous times before. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an uninsured driver. He does not have safe auto. He does not care what he runs into. Just pulls that back in. Excellent, excellent job like he's done it numerous times before. I'm point eight. No big deal. Coming up next, Young Money. The exclusive Q104 headband. What is she going to hit? I mean, how's she going to do that was very, very good job by M. The Ica. I don't know how she's going to do here. Wait, am I going to hit the wall? She's already worried about the wall. We cannot move that. If it's already been standing, no. you have to kind of maneuver about, around that. That's why it's the Q-Van maneuverability. How do you get between the cars? What would you do? Would you use the mirror? Would you use the rear view mirror? It is a van. You can't see much out the rear view mirror. Plus, you have onlookers. And also, out back, we have the homeless people also looking on. What do you do? She's going a little slow. Is she going to hit something? Is she going to pull in? What is she going to do, ladies and gentlemen? I just saw the wipers on, too. That might be a distraction. <gasps> Looks like she just might have it. In between the Q van, in between the other van. What does she do? The hand is out the window. Back in, back in, back in, back in, back in. And I think she just might have done it. And that is how it's done. Speaker lifting. This yeah. can be very, very dangerous. Do not try this at home. M to the Ica first contestant. Coming off the Q van maneuverability. Up and over, smooth, no herky, jerky, nothing. We have Gen 2 that's going to be commenting on each of the lifting, herself being a gold medal speaker lifting champion. Oh, that looked too easy. Jen, go right ahead. What do you think? I really think Micah moved gently at the beginning. If you watched him actually pick up the speaker, it was a gentle move. And then to add the additional, I'm carrying a boombox from the 80s, was a nice touch. Very well done. I believe we're ready for our next contestant and the speaker lifting in the first annual Prize Patrol Games. Please do not try this at home. These are trained professionals. M to the Ica did an unbelievable job. We're ready now for Soul Man. Those socks do not look aerodynamic. I don't know how he's going to do this. He only has a left hand underneath the speaker. Looking very, very weak after this. Very weak. Where does he go with? Nice leg extension, though. Not too bad at all. You need to get this above shoulder height. That is the purpose of the speaker lift. If he can do that, he also succeeds. So he's going much slower than M to the Ica. Does he have the power and the drive through the legs? Oh, he's doing a great job right there. It is. Oh, that is not good. Make sure you check on him. He has fallen. The speaker has hit him. M to the Ica and great sportsmanship coming over to help him out. We got to go to Jen Tui in just a second and see what she thinks about the speaker lifting of Soul Man, who hit the floor man. M to the Ica over to help him out. Let's check in with Jen Tui. Wow, the arch man. Uh, someone, you get them some water, they're getting some water. Um, here's what I gotta say about Arch. He, again, sized up his competitors, went to stand out from the group, picked a nice outfit, wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, strong effort, maybe not the best uh, in this round, in this heat, if you will, but uh, good job overall. Good job. <laughs> Our next contestant, our only female in the group of the heavy lifting, speaker lifting, is the Navidad. She goes one arm. Didn't she just see what happened to Soul Man? 
Maybe it's the socks and the wristband. Bam! Jerks it up. It's over the shoulder. Slams that speaker down like it was absolutely nothing. Raises the arms in there. This is a beautiful thing. She totally just showed up so mad. And did like a very happy. <laughs> Let's go to Gen 2. I gotta tell you, Sharice gets a problem. Hey, again, fashion. She goes with the wristband. She goes for the sound effects. She knows that making the noise is really gonna help pick up that speaker. And, uh, and a double lift there at the end. Uh, nicely done. Sharice, how you done? Good job. Comedy factor. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this. Our next event, OMFG as an Oh My Free Guys. It is the official prize pump assembly for those people that were unable to make it out to some of the appearances and have yet to see the prize pump. This is it, but it is not assembled. Hence, the Q104 prize pump assembly. Right now, we have Rick Astley. He's like, where, how should I attack this? You need a good base on the prize pump. If you don't have that, everything else could tumble. We don't want to see that. A gentleman just drove past, obviously an onlooker. Security, get him off of there. Okay, we're going to have security take care of that. He was distracted, but it does not count. Rick Astley, go right ahead. you got to grab the base, which, by the way, 75 pounds. It looks light. It looks like it might be some cheap wood. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not. He's got the prize pump down. He's got the base down. What do you do now? OMFG as an oh my free guys. Above the head. Unbelievable. Look at that. It's got to be the shirt. He is just showing off now. Remember, it is all about time here. It is all about time. He's got the middle section down now. Now, what do you go now? What would you do? Do you attach the hose now? Do you go ahead and put the top out? Looks like he's going to go with the top. Unbelievable. Put it on exactly. All right. We got that up there. Looks balanced. All due to the base. Now, which side of the prize pump do you go with? Where is that hose attached? Were you paying attention before Rick Astley? No, he was not. <gasps> He's got to take that off. It's from the right side as you're facing it. That could not bode well for him. Remember this little mishap as he puts the prize pump the back on together. He's done a great job. He's very excited about this. Next up, Michael Phelps. Never, ever lost an OMFG Oh My Free Gas prize pump assembly. He doesn't expect to today on this glorious day in downtown Cleveland. He knows he needs a base. He throws that down. No big deal. Remember, 75 pounds. Throws it down like it's nothing. That's why you don't mess with Michael Phelps. Look at this. Unbelievable. The prize pump almost, almost attached. That hose at which side do you go to? Michael Phelps never screws up. Goes to the right side as you're facing it. Attaches that. Throw the prize pump. The hose back up there on the prize pump. And guess what? He is done. Rick Ashley. Guess what? Nothing. Random moment. Brian Conroy, look at the grabs. I don't know if that's a pass. I'm not sure what that is. We just throw it in there for you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a hat on, please remove that. I also want you to stand up as this is the first annual Prize Patrol Olympic Games. And these are the ceremonies. Coming in with the bronze medal, we have Rick Astley. Could have probably got a silver. Probably could have got a gold. You saw that sloppy performance, though. And the OMFG has an Oh My Free Gas prize pump assembly. Over as the silver medalist. Not a place he's used to, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Phelps. He kind of faltered on some of the other events. Did very, very well in the prize pop assembly. Nobody can hang with young Chris as she is the gold medal winner. Excellent job. M to the Ica down there handing out. You know, go ahead and put one on yourself. You should do that. Nice. That was an excellent job. He, he was the man in a couple of events, by the way. Great job. You can only see this at your music, your station, your medal ceremonies right here at Q104 as the interns take home all the medals and deservedly so. There's Q104. You can see the beautiful sun shining down behind them in downtown Cleveland. Q104 first annual prize patrol Olympic Games.